when she calls, when she calls, when, when she calls, calls. <laughs> when she calls. Mm -hmm. right. There's a knock on the door. It's like who can it be? But then they say it's for you. It's like Just a woke up and today's agenda is to go to e-mart to buy some groceries and to buy some like organizers i'm going to e-mart because i actually have gift certificates that i got like years ago and i never used it and i thought this is the perfect time to use them to save some money thankfully there's an e-mart a station away so i'm just going to i don't know i haven't decided if i'm gonna bus it there or subway it there but yeah gonna leave right now Skipping Taju because I don't think I found something that I really like here. So going down to the market area. When I first came to Korea, I saw these escalators that you could bring your cart on and I was like so freaking amazed. Like it was the first time we saw it. And the whole time I was like, what if it falls down? I'm gonna get a bottle of wine. I don't know much about wine, but this looks cute. So I'm just gonna get this one. I got two bottles because it was on sale. If you buy two, you get 40% off. God, pengsu chips, so cute. Not gonna buy though. Can't have snacks in the house. I also love this cereal. But why is this so small? That's my ultimate favorite. There's no way I'm taking the bus with all this stuff. So heavy. Finally home. I also bought bagels at the end because there was a bakery on the way out. And I brought two tote bags because I knew one wouldn't be enough and I'm glad that I did. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired and my head hurts. I think it's because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. And I shopped for an hour and a half. But um, it was a lot cheaper than I expected because I bought a lot but uh, it was only like 108,000 won and I had a gift certificate for 100,000 won so I ended up only paying 8,000 won so yay! I got all these groceries and yummy things for 8 bucks basically okay let's put all this stuff in the fridge and eat My Greek yogurt. This is my brunch Greek yogurt with granola, apples, chia seeds, and honey, and a side of grapes. So hungry. It's 140. I'm on season three, episode two of Anne with an E. So sad it's gonna be over soon.
Good morning, guys. Drinking my passion fruit juice. So darn good. I had a pretty productive morning. I did 30 minutes of yoga and stretching, and I vacuumed my house. I mopped the floors, and now I'm taking a break by drinking some passion fruit juice. So I wanted to do a little DIY today with these dried flowers. I got these about a little over a month ago and I have dried them upside down in my kitchen and it dried really beautifully. I love the colors but see, every time I touch it or pass by it, the petals fall. So I thought I should make something that's kind of like a decor for my house with these dried flowers. So I got this mason jar from Taizou for a thousand won. There's a sticker label here and it's really random. It says, all good things come to those who wait, so make your day. Luck also needs warming up. Fortune knocks once, at least at every man's gate. Okay, anyways. So, I'm just going to put the dry flowers here. I don't know how it'll turn out because it's my first time, but hopefully it turns out nice. Because these flowers are so pretty and I wouldn't want to just throw them out, you know? The colors are just gorgeous. Got a little blue, got a little lavender, you got a bit of pink and off-white colors. First I'm gonna take this string off and see all the flowers. This is gonna create so much mess once, once I'm done. The roses dried up so nicely. Which flowers should I start with? I feel like the bigger flowers should be on top So I'm going to take some of these really pretty sky blue colored flowers I have no idea what these are I'm not a flower expert I'm gonna cut some of them I'm gonna cut the branches mason jar project DIY I like it I have a really pretty flower vase here so I'm gonna put some of the other ones in here that'll do for now Guys, I'm about to sleep, but before I just wanted to give a quick house update because I got a few things from the last time, but I didn't film myself opening it or setting it up. I got this cabinet for my LP player. This took so long to set up. I wish I filmed it because I was struggling real hard. Um, but I have some of my LPs in there. 
And this side I have some of my notebooks and our Set Me Free CDs. This I got for a really good deal. It's usually like 50 something, but I got it for like 20 basically. Yeah, I'm thinking about buying another one for my room, a white one. I got this huge mirror in the living room to practice my TikTok videos. Just kidding. Or am I? I'm a savage. Nasty, Rooney, Daddy. Stupid. Okay, I have no idea how that goes. Anyways, but yeah, I'll be using this mirror to take outfit pictures and practice for TikTok. I got this carpet for my bedroom. It's a little too big, but I'm trying to figure out how to set this up. I probably have to tuck it under the bed because my door won't open. This is the most it'll go. Finally cleaned my vanity. I guess I'll have a vanity, um, vanity, what is it called? Vanity tour? <laughs> but I promise you it's really not that aesthetically pleasing just because I have so much stuff and it's not organized too well. I know a lot of those videos are so satisfying to watch because it's just so neat and tidy, but that's not the case with my vanity, so don't get your hopes up too much. I also got this simple lamp. I also got two new plant babies from Christine's Who Beans as a housewarming gift. They're thriving right now. Please don't die on me, but so cute. Last but not least, I got like a night lamp next to the bed. Just had to get it for the double circle action going on right here. So yeah, that's all the updates I have for now. I feel like I just keep showing my house little by little. So by the time I do a house tour, there's going to be nothing to show. So this will probably be the last time I update you guys on the house. Because I want the house tour to be like, Whoa! Huge transformation! So yeah, no more house peaks. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sleep now. Good night. There is, in other words, no such thing as time. There is such a thing as rhythm. Oh yeah, I really need to get started. I haven't gotten that yet.